I'm Tom Grace. From 10 December 2011, legislation regulates the payment of builders and subcontractors in South Australia. This video is a hypothetical scenario illustrating one aspect of the Building and Construction Industry Security of Payment Act 2009. Fanny Kelligat Grace specialise in construction and engineering law. Find us at feg.com.au. We sent a letter to Bilco about that payment claim to which they failed to respond. I presume they would have paid it by now. What happened? No, that act works a treat. Uh, they paid up yesterday. Now, I actually wanted to see you about the second payment claim we sent them. This time, they have responded. Oh, well, it looks like they're catching up with the law then, aren't they? <laughs> Let's have a look. Okay. It identifies the payment claim that you've made, and it says they'll only pay 130000 out of 300000 mm. And it gives reasons for paying the lesser amount. Now, provided you received it within 15 working days, it's a valid payment schedule. Uh, I just squeezed in there. It came in on day 15, I reckon. Uh, so what are we going to do now? I mean, I need this 300k to pay for materials and to pay my blokes. Mm -hmm. Well, what reasons are they giving for paying the lesser amount? Okay. Right. Um, okay. They're saying that some of the pipe work doesn't comply with a contract schedule and that you haven't given them the paperwork and that you have delay the project by four months. <laughs> you know, I mean, I can't get the paperwork until the project is finished, and they know that. I mean, I, I've got uh, correspondence with an engineer saying that it fits the specifications for AS2118, but, you know, they're not saying that's valid, and to be honest, I think it's just another excuse to delay the payment. Mm. Well, we could refer this to adjudication. The Act provides a rapid resolution system to keep cash flow running. Okay, okay, how does that work? If they've sent you a payment schedule, stating that they're willing to pay only part of the payment claim, you've got three weeks to apply for an adjudication. An adjudicator is like a private judge. A small fee is paid to get the adjudicator appointed. The adjudicator then reads each party's submissions and then makes a binding decision on the money that's due. From start to finish, the entire process is likely to take around three to four weeks. Once the adjudicator hands down the decision, you can get a certificate from them to go to court and get the money. All right, all right, that sounds like a fairly rapid sort of a system. Uh, how do we apply for it? You write to the nominating authority. There's a number of nominating authorities to select from. You enclose the application fee, you identify the payment claim and schedule that are in dispute, and include your written submissions. The nominating authority then appoints an adjudicator for you. You have to send a copy of the application to the builder so they know what's going on. Okay, and once the adjudicator is appointed and has my application, what happens then? BuildCo has to give the adjudicator an adjudication response. They have a short time frame in which to do so. It's the later of five business days after receiving your application, or two business days after receiving notice that the adjudicator has been appointed. All right, and, uh, and what are they going to say? <laughs> they can only include the reasons that they included in the payment schedule. They can't raise new reasons that weren't included in the payment schedule. And can I see what they say to the adjudicator? Sure, everything's out in the open. Once the adjudicator has received submissions from both sides, they can ask for either party to submit further submissions. They can even call conferences or go and inspect the works. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's apply for an adjudication. We can do that. What we'll need from you is some detailed answers to the reasons that they set out in the payment schedule. If we can make out a logical response to each of their reasons, we should be able to convince the adjudicator that they pay the money. Okay, well, I'll go through my stuff and I'll send it to you by an email. I mean, I've got quite a lot of paperwork dealing with the engineer about the specifications for mm. AS2118 and saying the installation complies. Mm. And as far as the delay claims go, we've been waiting for one of their subbies to uh, install cable trays because uh, they didn't want our piping up in the ceiling space cluttering up before that job was finished. So it's absolutely not true that we've caused four months of delays. Can you get me the site minutes to prove that someone else has caused the delays? We should include that in our submission. Uh, yep, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I should be able to get that to you by email lunchtime tomorrow. Well, you've got 15 business days from the date that you received the payment schedule. Now, that's dated the 25th. Did you receive it on that date? Uh, on the 26th, I think. Which means we have until the 15th. No, oh, the 16th because of the, the public holiday. Yeah. It, it'll take us a few days to put the final submission together. So 
let's say let's say the deadline for you is the 10th. Okay. I'll confirm that in an email to you later today. All right. Cheers, Tim. I'll be in touch.